everybody. It's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. Coming up, 2015 NFL MVP Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers as they get set to take on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday Night Football. And on the call, as always, it's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, we're just about four miles off the shore of Lake Erie at New Era Field in Orchard Park, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their bills will do battle with the Carolina Panthers. Hello, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and partner, our long national nightmare is over. After six months away, we're back to playing football. And this is way better than Watergate, isn't it? Now we get to have some fun. Watch the veterans. They'll play a little bit. We know that. But the big thing, this new crop of rookies and young guys, they get their chance to take the field and earn their spot. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. And his throw is incomplete. These two teams met in week two last year, and it was all field goals. Nine to three, the Panthers getting the victory. They would hold off a late Bills drive in the final seconds of the win. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. From the gun, here's Newton. And this is caught, it's Greg Olson. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was. The down and distance. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Jerry Hughes able to get him for a loss of about three. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. That catch good for five. It's third down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Thomas has got it. Complete. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. 
His throw caught right around the six. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Goal line offense, something they've really been emphasizing in practice lately. Now they have a chance here to put all that hard work to use. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. And, Brandon, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. From the two now, second and goal. They get it to him running left, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Line of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment, defense. So that's going to move them half the distance. First of all, you can't jump in this situation. But think about your play calling now. Could easily change what you want to do and maybe make things a little bit easier. Now Newton on third and goal. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own deep. Football League, Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Buffalo. but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. And that'll bring up second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And they'll go on the ground. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Now Newton. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield.
So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 49-yard line. Let's go. Now Newton on first down. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Here's Newton now on second down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Just the first quarter of the tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that they could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it, <laughs> it would have been, been a different story. Night. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Newton to throw. Fighting through pressure. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Yeah, very smart play right there. Pocket collapsing around him. Love the way he moved around a little bit and avoided the sack. Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Rashad Jones. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Well, this win is definitely going to be a factor as this game goes along. He's throwing straight into it here in the first quarter, and the ball fluttered on him a little bit. They'll definitely have to file that one away and make a mental note of it. And out come the Dolphins now. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get. tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That's pretty nimble for a 300-plus pound guy to shed a block and then get upfield to make a stop. Oh, that was absolutely pretty. That was gorgeous, wasn't it? To be able to do that, he looked like a guy who weighed about 180 pounds <laughs> making that play. Showing some athleticism with a big body. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Here we go. Four down, four down. Let's go. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 
call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And on the stop defensively, Raekwon McMillan. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. They fake the give, Newton. And incomplete, the contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. And they'll run it here. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is Not a Not just a big, big man, big, a huge man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> The Panthers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, Newton. Dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll get this out past the 45 to the 47. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. On second down, here's Newton toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. As we thought they might do here in week two of the preseason, they've left their starting quarterback out there for this second quarter, but I would imagine we will not see him after halftime. Yeah, this is the time of year you've got to get your backup some reps and make sure you protect your starting quarterback. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Newton. To the flat that's complete to his running back and he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49 yard line call it a gain of three and that's going to bring up a fourth down two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half back with more from charlotte after this Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half. it up to the 40 and with just one second remaining in the first half they'll call the timeout so the offensive unit called the to and now we are ready to resume play Final 
shot before the break. Newton. He's going to go deep for Funches. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. This one of five games going on in the NFL on this Friday night, the second week of the preseason. We've got seven more tomorrow, including Jags, Vikings, and Raiders Rams, as well as another on Monday night, the Ravens and Colts from Indy in our game. The Uh, partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one. Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 19 on EA Sports. Coming up, the 41-year-old reigning NFL MVP, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots take on Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers. With that, let's get up to Charlotte. Standing by our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. doing on his first run back to the line of scrimmage and that's it call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down to throw on second down is new and he goes down it's a patriot sack dante hightower in from his linebacker spot, he's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Here's Newton. Airing it out for Olsen. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Carolina getting set to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. To throw is new. This one complete to Devin Funches. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Newton finding Funches for the Panther first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. A gain of three, second down. The Panthers and Patriots, these two teams met a year ago, week four. Graham Gano hit a 48-yarder at the buzzer to win it 33-30, but the most memorable game, I would say, Super Bowl 38 between these two teams. That's exactly right. The Patriots won that game 32-29, so here they are. The Panthers flipping it around and winning by three in New England. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. You know, last week I remember asking you, what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week two of the preseason? Now we're in week three. Defensive coordinator-wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You're looking for guys that play with abandon, that just go out and make plays. You kind of let their athletic ability take over in order for you to notice them. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a sound. Carolina getting set to take the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. 
in this situation. They've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Looking to throw on second down. Newton punches with a catch over the middle. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet, trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice, and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Forced out to his left. And this one is incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target, and it's third and five. These offensive starters still out there in the second quarter. You would think the plan's for them to at least play into the third quarter, if not all the way through it. Yeah, it might go by feel. If they have a really good first drive to start the third quarter, they might pull them after that. If not, might leave them out there a little bit longer, but I guarantee this, they'll be gone by the start of the fourth quarter. Newton to Olson there for a Carolina first down. I'd love to sit down at some point in our offseason and talk to these defensive coordinators in the red zone. Tight end is obviously a big threat, yet these guys continue to make plays. Is there any other way to stop them? Apparently not. In the red zone, like you said, that's your guy that got it to him. Supreme confidence in going to a playmaker. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. And he'll be out of bounds all the way. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now it's Newton. And Olsen over the middle. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Now a first down throw for Newton. Looking for the out loud, and he's got more. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Newton throwing again. Looking left sideline, incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And he's got his target. That's more. 
And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. On second and 10, Newton. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, and it's third down. The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and ten. Again, Newton. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon, and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe you can... Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sacked back at about the 43-yard line. Lawrence Guy getting in there from his defensive tackle spot to snow him under for a loss of four. Off play action, Newton. He's going to sling this deep downfield, and he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. Carolina getting set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And on the ground they go with a running back. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. As we surmise, Charles, most of the starting units still out there for this third quarter. First time this preseason that they played into the second half. And that's by design. Most of the time by this point of the preseason, you want them to go. The big man, get the oxygen tank ready. 30, 10, touchdown. Great effort there, 70 yards, and his guys are able to strike for six. 
And that was a third and medium situation. Thought they might pass it. They ran it. And they're glad they did. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. That's a surprise to me that they ran the ball in that situation. Usually you worry about trying to get that kind of yardage on the ground against NFL. They go play action here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Dante Hightower coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel. I want to be notified every time I post a video.